Hello everyone and welcome back to Lasha's Homestead. Today we are on the inside. God, it's, it's cold outside. So we're going to spend majority of our time on the inside getting our lives right before the spring season start. So what I'm in my office right now. This is my office slash my gym slash my seed starting area. <laughs> and it's starting to become a catch-all area. Um, I did just start bringing packages and everything back here. Um, this past week because I knew I was going to clean everything up. But what I really want to tackle is my seed inventory. Uh, I want to start doing like a seed inventory like the fourth quarter of the year. I'm doing it now, but I'm trying to get organized for the 2024 season and moving ahead. But I want to start doing like an inventory of all the seeds that I have, plants that I have at the end of the year. So maybe towards October and then get in the seeds for the following year ordered maybe around November around that time um, before they start selling out because that's really when you want to start ordering your seeds if you have any special varieties that you want to grow for the new year but I have seeds and stuff <clears throat> everywhere so I'm going to clean out this area and then I'm going to work on my inventory list I did create a seed inventory list on an excel sheet so if that's something that you are interested in i can definitely do like a play-by-play -play how to create that seed inventory list um it's pretty neat it's pretty neat i'm not like an expert excel user but i'm like an intermediate user so um i can show you guys how to put together a seed inventory list how to um you know put the quantity if the quantity is running low how to do a reorder status i can show you guys how to do that if that's something that you're interested in i just need to figure out how to do the um what is it i'm not sure what it's called where i'm screen recording myself and also screen well not screen recording myself but screen recording what's going on on the laptop or desktop and then record myself i don't know how to do that i guess i'm sure i can look it up on youtube it's youtube university <laughs> <laughs> but let me show you what's going on okay i have seeds everywhere and, and this is just starting to bother me okay it's starting to bother me we're going to be intentional for 2024 we're not going to just have stuff everywhere i'm not going to be buying a whole lot of extra stuff not doing any impulsive buying i think i'm beyond the impulsive buying at this point because it's so easy to get wrapped up into that when you're watching someone else's video and you see something nice you're like oh i want to order that I think I'm out of that. Okay. I'm out of that phase. I'm not ordering anything that I don't need. I'm not doing any type of sponsored videos that I don't feel is beneficial for myself or beneficial for you guys. So I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything intentional going into the new year and also what I'm bringing into my home and what I'm putting in the garden. But let's go ahead and take a look at this hot mess. Okay. All righty. Let me just bag it up here. So when you come into uh oh, I just bumped into the treadmill. When you come in the office here, I have this stand. This was my DIY grow light system setup. I bought a shelving unit from like Home Depot or Lowe's. And I also bought these like one inch planks and I fitted them to this here. And I got some little lights here that I ordered on Amazon. This was my grow light setup along with these mats. Um, and so this is where I was growing everything, you know, starting my seeds on the inside last year. I went ahead and did put all my gloves in here, but I need to get rid of the old gloves that are no longer usable. And this is just a plant pot. You know, I just have some of everything, okay, sitting up here that don't need to be up here. So I need to get everything <laughs> situated. This is the Rain Point um, Hub. I really do enjoy this Rain Point Hub. But guys, I have seeds and stuff everywhere. I mean, I mean, stuff is just everywhere and I need to get it cleaned up. Down here is my whole, look, my whole seed collection box. <laughs> I need to figure out where I'm going to put it. I might put it on this second shelf because I want everything to be easy and accessible. I do like the way I have my seeds um, set up in here. Everything is alphabetical order. Um, I did purchase this one, but it turned out to be a little small, but I really like it. It is a nice quality, um, storage for your seed. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, if I'm going to give it away or if I'm going to use it. I haven't made up my mind just yet. 
and we have more seeds that's my order from a homestead heart this here is another um system that i have to set up it's like an outdoor humidifier sensor i need to do a video with this one here but i found these beautiful plants at lowe's it was on the clearance rack and i absolutely loved the container that it came in so i'm gonna do that i don't even know what's in here i need to figure it out i did order something pretty neat check this out this is a surge protector with a timer on it so as i was setting up my seeds i used to have to come in here last year manually and turn everything on on and off so i would just come back here turn it off turn it on we're not doing that this year so i went ahead and purchased this this is not a sponsor video at all i just thought it would be very very helpful for me the only downside is this only have eight outlets and my whole little system setup needs about nine to 10. So we're gonna have to figure something out. Um, they did have the um, timing outlet that you can just plug here. And I could have just put this little surge protector cord in the wall, but I didn't wanna do that because I just feel like that's a whole fire hazard. <laughs> so I needed this to be on a surge protector because hey, hey, I love my home now. I, I need my home, I don't need it to burn down. But um, we got a whole lot of mess just going on, okay? This here, I purchased this for my desk. I thought it might match. Hold on now. I thought it might match in color, but it don't. But it doesn't matter because it's going to be under the desk. I'm going to try to put it under the desk here because I want to be able to hide my cords, okay? I need to be able to hide the cords. We have a bike and a treadmill over there. Guys, I just have to make sure... <laughs> I stay organized the best way I can. Honey, look at this desk. Look at it. Look at it. Hot mess, honey. She's a hot mess right now. But we're going to get it together. We're going to get it together. Um, I do have all of my books, everything right here. But I do have some of my garden books over here that I need to get to reading. Um, I need to figure out what to do with it. So we're going to go ahead and clean up this area. What is that back there? Look at that more garden stuff <laughs> that's more garden stuff and then in this closet here this is my little storage area <sighs> all my canning stuff down here um i do have some canning stuff there um these are some systems that i'm going to use i don't even remember what's in there <sighs> we ain't gonna worry about that but this is my canning stuff guys i'm gonna try to jump into canning um Every time these containers go on sale, I grab one. So I think I have enough that I'll be able to use. But let's get everything set up. We're going to go ahead and organize. We're going to take all the seeds. I'm taking all of the seeds out of here. And I'm going to watch some TV and insert them into the database that I built on the Excel sheet. And I'm just going to put all my seeds in there. How many packets I have, what reorder limit I want to use, everything. All right, so I got you guys set up on the contraption. We're going to go ahead and try to tackle this. I do have these lights set up on some S hooks. So I'm just going to put them to pull them up really high just to get them out of my way for now. That way, I don't have to focus on this at the current moment. Oh, see, look, look at that, look at that, look at that. Honey, we're not going to be struggling like this in the beginning of the video. Get on that hook. Okay. So we're just moving these up on the S hook. Just moving them on up. These, this was a nice system, I must say. I mean, I mean, it was pretty affordable, too. So I do... I did enjoy it. Um, I just didn't enjoy that I had to continuously remember to turn the lights on and off. But we're not going to worry about that for this new garden season because we got a surge protector with the timer. So pro tip, get you a surge protector with a timer. Or I believe on Haas, um, is it Haas Tools or Haas Garden Channel? They have a the mats that have the timer on them. And I think they're like the really big mats. 
So if that's something you're interested in, I think you can go over there. I've never had one myself, um, so but I'm sure it works pretty well. They are a pretty reputable company. So that's something that you can look into. But this was just affordable for me at the time. And it worked out great. There's nothing wrong with the system um, whatsoever. But if you don't want to go through all of this, then hey, <laughs> definitely order a mat that comes with a timer um, and you'll be good to go. Now, I need to figure out where I want to put my seats because they were up here and then I couldn't really see them. Then they were down here on the bottom row. I couldn't. I think I'm going to move them on this second row. That way, if I need to come and get some seeds, I can just go through them easily without having to take that heavy container down. So let's just kind of throw that on out of the way. <laughs> okay. Let me tie my hair up. Throw that on out of the way. I mean, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. So here goes my seed tray container. Whoa. So. I think I might leave it here. This is easy for me. I can open this up and get what I need. I don't have to move it in and out of the house. When it was up there, I couldn't see. It wasn't eye level. I couldn't see what I was grabbing from the back. Um, when it was down there, it was just too low. So I think this row may be a good place for it. And maybe my gloves can be here. I don't know. We're going to figure this out. We're figuring out together. I do have an old stand that I had <laughs> a lot of more junk. I don't even know what's in here, but I think I might use this here for all my garden books. So let's take this out. I'm not buying anything special to organize. I am, I am being intentional this year. I'm using what I have this year. I'm not buying anything else because I felt like I bought so much stuff last year and I didn't really get a large um, harvest that I expect. I didn't get the large harvest that I inspect. <laughs> I bought so much last year, <laughs> but I didn't get the large harvest that I expected. And that's because I didn't put that much time into it. Um, I did love gardening. I do love my garden. I just didn't have the time last year. I was just so wrapped up in the finishing out school that and work that that kind of consumed me more than the garden. But I'm going to put the books in here. So I did get some magazines from CC from CC Texas Garden. And I mean, they are pretty neat. So I want to use them. I like to use the recipes and stuff out of here. So I'm going to put these magazines in here. So maybe that could be like on the top row. And I also have some garden books um, that I need to put. I bought some garden books that I like. I'm, I'm over here, guys. Don't leave me now. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. So let me get these some like gardening and cookbooks. Let's get this and move it over there. Let's see. I want to make sure I get it all. Okay. Where is my... Okay. This is a cookbook that I found. So I can't wait to um, take some, get some recipes out of this cookbook. So we'll just set that in there along with the holiday book. I do have the Saving the Seed, this book. Um, it's 322 vegetable herbs, flowers, trees, and sh uh, shrubs. That's what the book looked like. So I am going to be reading up on this so that I can learn how to save seeds properly. So I'm just going to set that in there. And then these are just some seed, seed catalogs that came in the mail. I don't know if this is going to stay up here, but let's just put it up here for now and wish for the best. <laughs> wish for the best. Let's move this system here. That's what we're doing, y'all. We're wishing for the best. Okay, how did I have this set up over there? You need to be the same way. How the heck was this set up? Okay, kind of like that. So let's move that over there. Um, some of this stuff don't even need to be in here. What I'm going to do with the seeds. 
Um, look, it don't take much for me to get overwhelmed. I'm like, wait a minute now. What? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, I look at me, y'all. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. let's just take all the seeds. And I'll put all the seeds on top of here because I'm going to sit on the couch and watch a movie and get all of this in order. So let's just put this here. Look at this. This is some all-purpose. This is what I use for my starters. Um, this Dr. Earth's Pure Gold Organic Pump and Grow. No mixing. It is a one, one, one mixture. So when I'm growing my seeds and stuff on the inside and I need to do like a quick um, fertilize them, I'll go ahead and use this because the seed starting mix doesn't have enough um, <clears throat> nutrients in it to keep the seeds in there. And sometimes I leave the seeds in there a little longer than they should be. Well, let's take these out. Okay, these tabs are already written on. Let's take all these out. I do have some tabs in here also, so I'm just gonna throw those tabs in there. Try not to knock the seeds on the ground. Okay. All right. So this needs to be moved. Maybe, yeah, I'll move this to the bottom row because the bottom row does not have any grow lights. So let's take these off and move it to the bottom row. Oops. Oops. And then they have plugs. How about I just unplug all this stuff? Unplug it and we'll plug it back in however it goes. Look, the S hook's falling. I need y'all in a minute now. Don't be going running off. Uh, okay, I'm going to get down here on the ground and get it together, y'all. Okay, the light should be coming on now. What is going on? 
Oh, what do I need to do? It's like switched. What the hell does that mean? There we go. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. All right. We in business, baby. Baby, we in business. Honey. <laughs> okay. So, as of right now, this is not right in front of the window. I don't want it in front of the window. <sighs> I'm gonna pause on this right quick. Let me pause. I did buy some wall covers. I got a little hole in the wall. Let me put that on there because it's bothering the heck out of me. Until we do any fixes, I'm just putting this right here for now. That way the hole won't get bigger and the door will be stopped. So let's put that. Okay, I'm done with that. Let's put this in the trash. Okay. Now that this is taken care of. Y'all, I don't know what to do. What to do? I don't know what to do. This should be in the shed, huh? This should not be up here. This should be in the shed. So we're going to put this in the shed. So let's make a pile for the shed. Um, Both of these plants, I'll put one of the plants up here. One of them here. Let's see, this bromelade is leaning and everything. Let's stick this in here. We'll put one up here and then I'll keep one on the nightstand. I'm I don't know what to do with this little feller. I don't know if I should use it for all of my spring seeds. Like I know I'm gonna plant several different spring seeds instead of using this one. If I should just move all of my spring seeds here and just use this as a seasonal. Um I don't know what I'm gonna do with it just yet so let's put it right here for now <laughs> look let's put it right here for now that'll work right there okay all right i do have some stuff this is just more of lights and this is a battery so let me put this over here these are extra heat mats so i'm going to just put those in the closet if i need them then i'll get them out but as of right now i don't need them so let's get it on out of the way Maybe put a plant in here or something. So let's sit that there for now. Or should I put this in the middle and have the two? Actually, let's move this to the middle. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. And put this over there. Like that. How about that? That's cute. This bromelade is so big. Yeah, let's do that. That's perfect. And then <clears throat> I have this old tablecloth that I'm going to use. It's so cold outside. I do not want to do anything in the backyard right now. All I did was, you know, did my last harvest of the mustard greens and the ones that I didn't use. I just folded them into the soil so that the nutrients can go right back into the ground. And when I'm ready, I'll go till again. But I um, found this tablecloth that I had. Uh, and I'm just gonna put that on my counter in the kitchen. And that's what I'm going to, that's where I'll be starting my seeds on the counter. My husband didn't like it, which is why we eventually got that, um, um, what is that out there? 
that workbench, that space. But I don't want to go out there. It's too nasty. And it's been raining and it's wet. So I'm going to put this on the counter and I'm going to start my seeds on that. Okay. Okay. I just figured out all this right here is all of our warranty stuff. So I'm about to stuff this into a cabinet. We want to upload our warranty stuff into the computer. We're, we're like uploading everything into the computer um, so that we won't have to hassle with a lot of paper and stuff uploaded into the cloud. Um, so I don't plan on working on this until maybe in like two weeks. So I'll just stuff this in the drawer for now. Um, Y'all know how it is, out of sight, out of mind. And I'm going to leave myself a little note of everything that I have to do. Just put warranty. And then I may just do that at nighttime. One, maybe one night. I, I actually need to get that done by the end of the week. So that it won't be no tension in the marriage, okay? My husband wants me to take care of it. He's been asking me forever. So I'll probably get that done by the end of the week. And then we're going to do the seed inventory. If I don't have a list, honey, it's not getting done. If I don't write it down. <laughs> um, okay. So this area is pretty much how it's going to look at the current being. I'm going to go ahead and take care of the seed catalog. Once I get done with that seed catalog, the seed inventory, once I get done with that, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tackle my desk. But y'all don't need to see the desk area because this is not about my office. It's about the garden. So um, let me get everything situated and I'll be back, okay? Okay, I was working on, I took a break. I was working on my inventory, getting all the seeds, putting them together, but I needed to take a break from that. That was just consuming too much of my time. It has gotten a little later in the day. So if it's a little more dim, it's dark outside and the natural light is not coming back in at the current moment. But I did have my garden bag and I'm like, let me just, y'all, it's just a hot mess. Can y'all see that? Just a hot mess. So what I'm going to do with all my garden utensils, I need to clean them now before it's time to use them. So I'm just going to start collecting them and maybe get one of the buckets, the containers, and just throw them in the container. And then I'll begin to clean them. Maybe soak them in some solution for a little while and then begin to clean them. But, I mean, look at these old gloves. They're all cracked. So I'll probably, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's time for some new ones. So I need to get rid of those there. I do have a trash bag, but I just need to clean out this garden bag. I just have a whole lot of unnecessary things. I don't even know what I use these for, but these are zip ties. I don't recall what I use them for in the garden. But here's my little tools. Okay. Um, they're still good. This is my bulb. A little dibber. So I need to take everything out and see what I'm actually going to use and what I'm not going to use. Man, this is like one of my favorite tools here, okay? It, it is so sturdy. It is by Garden Weasel. Not a sponsorship, but guys, this is a really neat tool. And I mean, they have some sturdy tools. I might have to go and order some more for the season. But stuff like this, look at this. This is what I need to clean. I have purchased so many of these Corona um, pruners, and I really like the Corona pruners. I feel like you get a pretty decent pruner for the price point, and it's going to last you a while. But it's not going to last if you keep letting it rest and get old. But we're going we're gonna to get all this cleaned up. Uh, I use this to cut the onion tops off, so let me put this over here. I mean, I just have a whole lot of items in here that don't need to be in here. Ugh. That I just need to get rid of. It's like, ugh. I did not like these gloves. I purchased these from the Dollar Tree and they were just too 
thin. I feel like if you're going to do like some cute little planting flowers and stuff like that, then it's okay. But I don't remember why I necessarily just did not like them. I, I felt like they were cloth and I don't remember why I didn't like them. But when I seen them, I love the color or whatever, but I did not like them. I don't remember why I didn't like them though. Look at me putting them on. So as I was saying, of course they are tearing right here. But I just don't remember why I didn't like these gloves. I just... Mm -mm. <clears throat> this is what I was using originally to tag all of my seed starts. But I noticed they began to mold. So this is going in the trash. I don't want to use it anymore. I don't want to use it for another project. I just don't. I feel like we have stuff in the house and we be saving it saying, oh, we can use this for something else. You can use it. I don't know. Throw it away. I don't have time for that. I'm throwing it away. If I don't plan on using it within the next three months, I I'm throwing it away. Here is, uh, <laughs> this is my box cutter. I do love having a box cutter in the yard. When you open in packages or anything, this comes in handy. I have another garden weasel. Okay, I didn't know I had two. Oh yeah, one for me, one for JJ. JJ wanted one. Um, some twine. Now I was looking for this all last year. This goes on to the end. This is the little auger digger. This goes on the end. <laughs> I was looking for this all last year and it was in the bag the whole time. <sighs> now, even though I don't knew you need this right now, I will not be throwing these away. These little stakes, oh no, I have to keep them, okay? I have to keep those. You can always find something to use those for, with um twine my old school scissors it's time to give them up y'all do y'all remember scissors like this from back in the day i just can't give them up i just feel like maybe i can go get them cleaned and get them sharpened but they just don't make the old school scissors like this anymore and i just can't give it up <laughs> why was that in here i don't know i had that was it supposed to be in my office i probably needed it for something real quick and took it outside and ruined it okay look here's the little top for my little pruners <laughs> ah, tickle myself in nothing but dirt and trash so we got that cleaned out Ta -da! <laughs> okay i got a good trash bag going so let's get this dirt out of here. We're not putting nothing in here that's not supposed to be for the new season. We're going to try at least. Uh-oh. Got my little sea star dibbers was down there that I didn't see. Oh. Here they go. My little pruners. These are my favorite snippers. They're not pruners. They're little snippers. Especially when you're seed starting and you need to thin out those seedlings, um, transplants. This works wonders. Or if you're doing a harvest and you just want to, it works so good. I love these. This is my favorite. Not sponsored, but my favorite. I should do like a faves video. I think I might do that. A garden phase. Because I do have some garden phase, okay? like good and faithful garden phase that I'm going to always use that I've been using since I've dipped my foot into the garden world. Okay. I think I got everything. You know what? Another cap came out and I must, I need to keep the cap on these because they are sharp. Okay. You will cut yourself. So I need to find the other pair of snippers. I'll just vacuum this dust, dirt up off the floor. Okay, that's everything. All right, we clean, y'all. Eyes clean now. <laughs> 
All right, so we can start the season off fresh with our clean garden bag. I do have a little rust, a little rust on the knobs because I left it out in the rain. But hey, make it do what it do this garden season. Ooh, she getting cute again. Check her out. She didn't fade it, but we're, baby, we're going to use it till it can't be used anymore. All right. So let's move this down. And whatever just falls off of here, I'll just vacuum that up. I did need to throw away these here. I did buy this two years ago. <coughs> Some of that dust got in my face. I bought these two years ago. This one's kind of... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, I'm probably coughing in the mic. <coughs> Excuse me. I bought these two years ago. Okay, I'm getting it out. Um, I like them for the garden, but I noticed the wear and tear on them. I mean, you can get maybe about one to two seasons out of them, but then they begin to fall apart. Um, rust. Where look, here's one that fell apart like this. And and they get rusty and I might, I'm, I'm going to try to save them. I, I haven't really figured out what I wanted to do. I initially thought this would be a good investment because, hey, you're not going to have to keep buying, you know, you can reuse them. But I don't know how good they are yet. I still have a verdict out. I should create an Amazon store, like an affiliate link of all my garden saves. Maybe I'll figure out how to do that. I should do that. So anything that I'm recommending in the channel, you guys can go and check it out and order it if that's something that you would like. Maybe I'll do that. I need to figure out how to create the affiliate link. YouTube University. <laughs> I'll go on YouTube University and figure that out. Okay. All right. So that's all done. I need to go out and get a bucket. Has it stopped raining? It just started raining out of the blue. Like, seriously? It literally started raining out of the blue. No warning. It just started coming down hard. Let's see. Still raining. Let's take a look outside. Oh, check it out, yo, guys. Check it out. It is cold and rainy out in the garden. Everything is pretty cleared off, but man, it's just a little too cold out here for me. Too cold. It's 61 degrees right now. So I've been staying in. Um, but eventually we're gonna get back out there. We're gonna get back out there. All right, I got it done. I got it done. I got it done. So I cleaned up my area. I know it seems like there wasn't a lot that you had to do. Yes, I did. <laughs> I don't care what you say. <laughs> I went and found all my garden books. And I put them all in this area. This was the main thing that I had to organize. Just find a good place to um, put this seed box. I think on the second shelf here is going to be really good for me. As I mentioned earlier, I can just go in here and pick out what I need. And when I get done, I can bring it back instead of having to pull it from the chop rack or bring it up from the bottom here. So not only did I organize it, I did get everything into the inventory on my Excel sheet. All the gloves, I went through all the gloves that I had and I got rid of the ones <clears throat> that were no longer usable. And I put the ones that I'm going to use for this garden season in the washer. Have my little watering can here because you're going to need that to water your seed starts, your little seedlings as they begin to grow. But I'll have two small rows um, that I'll be able to use as far as um, getting my seeds started. And I think that's enough. I'm really happy about this here. <laughs> this is one thing that I'm happy about. I have, this is going to be my timer. I'm going to put a timer on this. I'm not going to have to worry about coming in here and turning the lights on and off. Uh, my garden bag is down here on the ground. I need to find some type of hook. That way, when I come in, I can just put it on the hook instead of having to bend down. I got my credenza clean. I got my desk clean, y'all. That's my... Um, frame back here for my diploma. I'm waiting for my diploma to come in the mail, but goodness, honey, honey, she's 
clean okay? all right well all right that is all i have for you guys on today i have taken plenty of breaks because as i mentioned that seed inventory was the main thing oh my goodness i'm so happy that i was able to finish everything get everything organized i do have the seeds from a homestead heart i'll do a seed haul on that and then i'll go ahead and get those placed into the box here but I'm waiting on some seed envelopes to come in the mail because the packages that they come in are really small and I don't want them to fall to the bottom like a lot of the other ones that I had. So I'm waiting on the seed envelopes to come in. That way I can label them and put those in the box. And what else do we have? I think that's it. I think the next thing that I'm going to do is the seed haul. Then I'm going to clean up all of my garden utensils we're getting prepared we're getting ready and i also need to start some seeds i think i'm going to start some seeds on saturday <sighs> saturday is my day to start some seeds i know it's time to start some pepper seeds tomato seeds things of that nature so um i'm gonna go ahead and get on the ball now that it's in the system honey that took a long time i didn't took a couple of naps i don't know if y'all can tell but i didn't took a couple of naps <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me here on Lasha's Homestead. You guys have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.